I personally found this question quite challenging and I had to draw quite a few circles on my paper in order to think through this. So uh, let's go slow. We, we know that there's a circle whose center is C. We want to know whether some point Q is on the circumference of this circle, yes or no. It's a yes-no data sufficiency question. Now statement one is a bit of a mouthful, right? It says that the distance between Q and R is the same as the distance between Q and C. In other words, Q is equidistant from R and C. In other words, Q is at the midpoint between R and C if there were a straight line connecting R and C. Now we're told that R is a point on the circle, so the straight line connecting R and C would be the radius. But we don't know that Q has to be on that line, we just know that it's equidistant. So if you can draw an imaginary straight line through the midpoint between R and C, really Q could be anywhere on that line and is it possible to get a yes? Is it possible that Q sits right on the circumference of this circle? Yeah, there are actually two points that would get us a yes, but then there's an infinite number of other points on that line that would get us a no. So statement one is not sufficient on its own and we should eliminate the answer choices that claim that it is. So A and D are gone and we're down to B, C, and E. Now statement two is also a mouthful. Statement two tells us about some point S, which is on the circumference, and we're told that the distance between C and S, also known as the radius, is the same as the distance between Q and S. So we have some point on the circumference called S, and we know that Q is exactly one radius away from S. Does that mean that Q is definitely on the circumference? No, Q could actually be at the same point as C. Right, Q could be the center of the circle. But is it possible that Q is on the circumference? Are there points on the circumference that are exactly one radius away from point S? Yeah, there would be exactly two such points. So it is possible to get both a yes and a no with statement two, and therefore we should eliminate answer choice B. So we're down to just two answer choices now, C or E, and it's time to evaluate these statements combined. So when we combine the statements, what can we say? We know that on the one hand, Q sits somewhere on that imaginary straight line that goes through the middle between C and R. On the other hand, we know that Q is exactly one radius away from point S. The problem is we don't know where point S is on a circumference relative to point R on the circumference. So point R can be moved all the way around that circle and the same goes for point S. Is it still possible that Q is on the circumference knowing that it's on that imaginary line that goes between C and R and also knowing that it's exactly one radius away from S? Well, depending on where we position S and R, yeah, sure, it is possible we could make it such that Q is on the circumference, but it's also very easy to make it not on the circumference if you just move around R and S to different points on the circumference. So I'm going to go ahead and pick answer choice E and move on to the next question. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.